Hello, welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. It is day number 37 for Mr. Cornhorn. We have one an exciting update at least. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's mostly just grinding along and slow progress, but uh, that's that's the game unless you want to spend hordes of money, which I don't have. So we'll, uh, we'll continue grinding along and, and doing our thing. <clears throat> I apologize if you uh, hear some other noises. My uh, my baby, who is a little bit over a year old, is right behind me. Uh, he's playing, uh, hopefully happily, for the whole video. Uh, so you probably hear some some baby toys or whatever in the background. <coughs> okay, so let's uh, start with this roster review. So you see, we do finally have Vader at gear twelve. I have him favorited. Uh, I had thought I would try to get Anakin to gear thirteen first. And the reasoning for that is mainly because of his ship. Uh, that would help in, in Fleet Arena. And that would certainly be a valid option. However, I've decided to try to get Vader uh, to gear 13 first. Uh, I'd like to start transitioning my arena team <coughs> to Empire uh, with Palpatine lead and uh, Thrawn. Uh, he's up at six stars now. Um, well, will be. I don't know if I actually did that. But anyway. <coughs> Um, I think that'll start doing a little bit better for me. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably run uh, Palpatine, Vader, Jedi Knight, Anakin, um, Grandmaster Yoda, and Thrawn once I've got Thrawn up. Um, I, I do have Bastila Fallen. I'd, I'd like to get going, uh, get her ready as well. Um, but we're, we're not quite there yet. Uh, gear is, is tough at this stage. Um, so... Let's see, there's one other I was thinking about throwing in there. Uh, I mean, Grandma Tarkin, you could def certainly throw in an Empire lineup, uh, and he would do well. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. They'll come back to me in a little bit, I'm sure. Anyway, I think that would be a fairly decent arena team. Uh, not the best, but, um, you know, it's, it's very early in this account's lifetime. So we'll, uh, we'll go with what we've got. Um, so, yeah. Excited about that. <clears throat> uh, we do have Palpatine at six stars now. I uh, could actually probably get him to seven stars. I've got all my Phoenix now uh, at seven stars or upgradable to seven stars. Here is the last one I needed. However, you'll see him at 994,000 GP. Uh, I, I am still leaning towards <coughs> staying under that 999,000 mark until the start of the next Grand Arena to stay in an easier uh, tier. Um, the the disadvantage is I'll, I'll most likely be paired up against a lot of people that do the same thing instead of you know, going against bloated rosters so I'm not 100% sure that's the right call uh, and I may actually change my mind on that um, but that's why I've got some upgrades you'll see here that, that I haven't done yet like fives as well uh, you see I could upgrade him which would help a ship um, and I've got the, the currency hoarded up to, to do some of that. Um, but I just, I've been waiting um, to do that so I don't go over that GP mark and, and get bumped up in Grand Arena tiers. Uh, so, anyway, that's where we're at. <coughs> uh, so, yeah. Let's see. Uh, talked about Grandmaster Yoda last time. Um, so yeah, Hera is ready to be upgraded to 7 stars. So is Big, so is Grandma Tarkin. So finally getting some more 7 stars. That's exciting just for the sake of progress. Uh, not that they're all that much more viable, but <coughs> every bit helps. Especially uh, people with, with ships. They both have ships, so does Hera for that matter. So, um, you know, I, I like to get those 2 for 1 combos early in the game. Uh, ships can can give you a nice advantage uh, both in fleet and arena and in grand arena so uh, you do have some more shards of rex uh, he's shown up a few times uh, i've purchased him uh, so with my cantina farms finally done just finished Hera about uh, two days ago maybe a day and a half ago something like that um, moving over to tie fighter pilot i'm gonna finish him up get him to seven stars <clears throat> that won't take very long um and then we'll see from there. Let's, actually, I might, might have my own guide here. So, <clears throat> I took a look at this. 
So if I follow my guide, I would start moving into the Old Republic stuff. Um, the thing is, I'm nowhere close to getting Malak or, or Revan's, really. Uh, and these are not going to take as long as these. Uh, so I probably will hold off, actually, on them. And I'll probably go on and do crew for his ship next. That's, that's probably what I'm going to lean towards doing. At least in, in the cantina farming. <clears throat> okay. Continuing on down here. Not a whole lot of change here. Do uh, farm Dooku. Uh, get, making progress there. Got some more shards of Maul. Working on Sidious. Um, <coughs> he's uh, that squad arena farm. Veer's working on him. Farming both of his nodes. Um, so slow but steady, making progress. Uh, okay, so I did do the six star. I just haven't upgraded him yet, um, but I'll be able to do the seven or attempt the seven star. Maybe to actually gear up my phoenix just a little bit more, or at least put some more ability materials on him. Um, so royal guard, we're, we're making some progress there too. It helps that they're giving away free shards this month. Finally, I can unlock Piet. Uh, that that's nice. Oh yeah, he was the last one I was gonna <laughs> include. Um, once he's ready, I think he would be a nice addition to that, that dark side lineup under Palpatine. Um, but I don't want to gear up so many characters and spread myself thin. I prefer to work on a couple at a time and make sure they're actually viable. Um, instead of just inflating my GP for middling characters. Even even if they're good characters, if they don't have high enough gear uh, and high enough star levels, they're just not really going to do much. So that's my philosophy there. Okay, I uh, have found a couple more Grievous shards. You'll see uh, getting some more Han Solo shards from the raids. Uh, otherwise, not a whole ton of changes down <coughs> Excuse me, down here. Just uh, you know, grinding away. Okay, we'll take a quick look at ships. See where we're at. Um, getting close to the next star on Anakin's Starfire. That'll be nice. Uh, he, he, oh, it's a fantastic ship. We are farming the Ghost and the Phantom in the Fleet Arena store. Um... So getting close to uh, six stars with each of those. Uh, I use those in Fleet Arena, so that'll be nice. <clears throat> uh, Umbarn, Starfighter, I'm not really farming. Uh, I have purchased a couple shards here and there. Um, but uh, I don't really even know why I did that. Um, that's a good ship. I, I use it, actually, in, in my starting lineup. Um, but clones aren't really a, a near project, so... Um, no sense in farming it up just yet. And it's not that hard to farm up anyway. Bigs I do purchase with the Galactic War currency. Uh, so bring this back real quick. Um, so I know I, I don't have ships until later. But again, I, I've got Bigs at, at 7 stars now. Um, I could go on and farm Cad Bane, but I can't put gear on them. <sighs> there's too many other priorities. So there's not a whole ton of point and farming him up at this point. <clears throat> um, so I, I might just leave him uh, for, the, for the time being and, and focus on getting a couple of those ships that show up, like Big's ship is, is one. Um, let's see, TIE Fighter shows up in there. Uh, that's another one that I'll, I'll purchase shards of from the Galactic War Store. <coughs> Not a whole ton of change down here. Uh, unfortunately, since I haven't worked on any dark side ships, I haven't been able to get the Executrix to five stars. Thus, haven't been able to really use the that as my capital ship. Hopefully, that'll change soon once I get Cruise ship and the Tie Fighter going. Uh, that will give me a, a solid foundation for dark side ships. Uh, should be able to kind of pull me through that to at least get to six stars. Uh, and once I start gearing up Grandma Tarkin, which I'll do before too long. Um, Hopefully, <laughs> then you know I can really uh, start using that, and I think that's gonna be better than the endurance. Uh, I, I had never used the endurance in, in past accounts in, in test, and, and I, I wanted to do that this run um, just to kind of see how it worked and if it was viable. And my conclusion is there's a reason no one really used it. Um, I think both the home one and the executrix are better. Um, it's not total trash, but <coughs> unfortunately, it's just it's not great. Uh, a lot of it, 
a lot of its power comes from actually having your, your ships have protection. They get bonuses if uh, they have protection. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Not that one. It's probably this one. Uh, with protection of plus 12% offense and defense doubled for Galactic Republic Allies. So the Galactic Republic Allies, you know, that's a really nice bonus if you have 24% offense and defense. The problem is they just have so little protection. One shot and their protection has gone. So they're not really getting to use those bonuses very much. Um, and then gaining Valor for two turns. And all Valor is doing is decreasing the cooldown of his big shield, which doesn't last long enough. It's just not enough for me. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's not powerful enough. All around, it's not good enough, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> when the Executrix hits its ultimate, once he works on that a little bit, uh, that's game over for the, the opponent's fleet. Um. You know, usually you whittle it down to two or three ships anyway. You, you launch that, and that <coughs> that's over. Um, the home one, that's uh, <coughs> calling uh, uh, an ally is really nice. Uh, plus, it's a decently hard-hitting ability. Having the ability to heal is really nice. Having the ability to do double turns is really nice. Uh, so, of the starting capital ships, I think home one's probably the strongest. Then I'd go Executrix, then Endurance. So it's it's been a worthwhile test to do it, uh, but I <clears throat> I don't think it's the best early option unless you're gonna go really really hard Galactic Republic early on. And it's not that the ships are really all that hard to get. I mean you can get four off the bat, um, and actually probably five. Take a look at these ships. So yeah, I mean you can get these four pretty quickly. You could get Jedi Knight or Jedi Consular Starfighter, but it's trash, so don't bother. Rex you can get pretty easily. Uh, Plo and the and the Y Wing are a little, a little more difficult. So, yep. Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. My wife is calling me. And we'll testing, testing, one, two, three, testing.